welcome to Three Minutes with ARC-2. I am a radiological scientific officer, and this is our survival complex. This video is about detecting radiation. While it is possible to see fallout, you may not see it if it is very fine or just mixes in with other dust. But as for radiation itself, there is no way to tell its presence without a radiation detection device. You cannot see it, hear it, touch it, feel it, smell it. You must have a radiation detection device to detect it. Well, this video is about detecting radiation. While it is possible to see fallout, one could just simply take a clean dinner plate and place it outside or cleanly wax the hood of a car and come back and run your fingers over it and if you don't feel or see any dust or don't see any marks on the plate from your fingers why then there's probably not enough fallout that you need to worry about it. However if there is fallout you don't know whether it's fallout or just regular dust and the dust may be so fine that it fits in with other dust in the ground and you just won't know that it's there. While it's possible to see the fallout, it's not possible in any way to detect radiation without the use of a radiation detection device, such as a rate meter like this, or here's a little one that you can put onto your uh, keychain. And some people just carry these around on their keychain, and it will give a signal of beeps. And how fast the beeps are will determine how much radiation you're get, getting. This is a rate meter, just like the big rate meter. But it's just very small and portable. This one is called a new alert, and like I said, it's on your keychain. The other type of radiation measuring device are dosimeters, such as I have here. A dosimeter does not tell you how much radiation there is at the moment. And it doesn't even tell you how much radiation uh, uh, you have received unless you, you have had the radiation, the dosimeter with you. You can't test the radiation with a dosimeter by, like you would a thermometer, how much radiation a person's had by sticking it in their ear or something like that. It will not detect radiation in the past it only detects the amount of radiation that it itself has received over the last hour hours or days and then its scale moves up saying it has received this much radiation radiate rate meters detect how strong the radiation is at any moment they uh, they have a scale here and you turn it on and, and you can detect anywhere just in the air here for that matter how much radiation is occurring at this moment, what the rate of it is. If it's 10 Rankins per hour, for example, that means if you stay out in this radiation for the next hour, you will receive 10 Rankins, or Rankins, however you like to pronounce it. On the other hand, if it says 80 Rankins per hour, then if you're out in this radiation for an hour, you'll get 80 Rankins. The dosimeter, if you had it on you, would also at the end of the hour, with 80 Runkins, read 80. And at a half hour, it would have read 40. Well, we hear a lot about fallout suits. And this is the typical suit that, dress that you see people wear in this. But the thing that I always try to make most clear to people is this will not protect person wearing the suit one bit. The only reason why we wear these suits is so that when we come into the shelter, we can take them off and not track the dust in the shelter. So the person coming in from outside might take off the suit, then go in the decontamination shower, and be. this way we'd make sure that we don't take any fallout into the shelter itself. Many radiation detection devices are in different scales. A common scale when you buy a dosimeter you'll find is a millironcan. A millironcan is one thousandth of the roncan. 
This is a measurement that is absolutely useless in case of a nuclear war. You must get dosimeters, such as the ones I'm holding in my hand, and the only way you can tell is to look through them and see the scale, that are measured in ronkins. This one, one of them might be measured in 10 ronkins, another uh, had, will measure up to 200 ronkins, another measurement sometimes up to 600 ronkins. But those dosimeters are useful to you. The ones who are measured in millironcons are of no value to you for a nuclear war. The same measurement applies to rate meters. If you're getting a rate meter and it measures in millironcons, one thousandths of a ronkin, that won't be any use to you in a nuclear war either. You need a rate meter that measures in ronkins. The only rate meters that are useful in a after a nuclear war, the measure in millironcons are ones that you're going to use for measuring the radiation in food or water. Thank you for watching. And please remember that ARC 2 is not just about your survival, it's about service to humanity and preparing to reconstruct society.